This video is a tutorial for Blender 3D. Download it for free by clicking the link in the video description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kern Mesa Productions Blender tutorial. This video is all about how to make airplane landing gear in Blender 3D. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell to get notified when I release a new video. And also, please hit the little like button and tell me in the comments if you have any ideas for future videos. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to hit A to select all the objects, and then I'm just going to hit X to delete everything. And then I'm going to add in a cylinder, which is going to be the main uh, strut for the landing gear. So I'm going to hit Shift A, or I can go up here to the Add menu, and I'm going to go to Mesh, and I'm going to select Cylinder. And then I'm just going to go down here to the cylinder properties, or you can hit F9. And I'm going to turn the radius down to a 0.2. And then I can just click. So now we have a nice spoke right here, or strut. And what I want to do is I'm going to hit shade smooth right here and then in the modifier section i'm going to hit add modifier and i want to select edge split and now this looks a lot smoother and now i'm going to make the main wheel bogey right here the thing that kind of goes like this and we're you know it was really bad it kind of goes like this and we're going to put the wheels like this right okay that was a really bad drawing, but you get the point, so, hopefully. So I'm going to hit Shift A, and I'm going to add in another cylinder. This time I'm going to hit R, and then X, and 90. And then I'm going to hit G. I'm going to hit A to select all the objects, and then I'm just going to hit X to delete everything. And then I'm going to add in a cylinder, which is going to be the main. So we can just shade smooth and add in an edge split modifier. And now this is all set for us to add in some wheels. So I'm going to sh hit shift A and I'm going to add in yet another cylinder. This time the radius can go back up to one but the depth will go down to 1 as well. Actually, I'm going to take the depth all the way down to 0 0.7. And now, if I go into uh, front view, I can hit R and then type in 90. And then I'm going to hit S to scale it down. And I'm going to hit G and move this to be right here. And then I'm going to hit GY and move this into position. And you can scale down this bogey too, so that this is a little bit cleaner. And now we can start to model the wheel here. So I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode, and then right up here I'm going to go into edge select mode, and I'm going to hold down alt and select this outer ring right here. Now I'm going to hit Control b to bevel, and then I can just scroll up on my mouse wheel to create some more segments right here. And now I'm just going to so, uh, go into face select mode, and I'm going to select this interface, and I'm going to hit I to inset it to bow right here. And then I'm going to hit I again and inset it just a little bit. Then I'm going to hit E to go right into here. And then I'm going to hit I again, 
with an E, I, and E again. And now we have a nice wheel right here. Actually, back here, I'm also going to do this. So it looks good from the front, but there's still some stuff to do in the back. So I'm going to hit Control B to bevel it to be right here. So now we have this. And now I can just select this back face, I to inset. And then what we can do is I'm going to separate these two objects right here. So I'm going to hold down Alt and select all these loops right here. Once I have all of these selected, I'm going to hit P and select Selection. And now we can texture these. So I'm going to shade smooth this one. And then on the inner one, I'm going to shade smooth this as well. But this looks super weird, so I'm going to add an edge split modifier. And that'll make it look a lot better. And now we should probably texture this. So I'm going to go into the viewport sheen. And that'll give us some nice uh texture view so that we can see what our textures look like so i'm going to select the tire and speaking of that i'm going to rename this as tire m new collection tires i can rename this to tire one and then i'm going to with the tire selected, go down to the material tab, and I'm going to click on this material icon right here and select this material right here. And once this loads up, um, we can rename this to tire material. Oops. Okay. And then I'm going to turn this down to pretty much black, except it's just going to be a little bit gray. And then I'm going to turn the roughness up to about a 0.9. And if you want a little bit more um, detail right here, like if you're going to get super up close with this, you might want to add... A little bit of texture to this so I'll show you how to do that right down here under the normal I want to select a bump node and under the height I'm gonna select right here and I'm gonna go up here and select a noise texture and once this loads in we can tweak the noise texture all right, the noise texture has loaded in, so we can go, the scale can come up. The detail won't actually come up, but the roughness, well, the detail is actually gonna come all the way down to zero, but the roughness can come up a little bit. And once the roughness is all the way up, we can take the detail, and turn this more up. I'm gonna turn this detail to about a 0.5 or just regular five. And then, now that we have all this, the um, on this noise text right here, I want to take the normal and in the input, I want to change this to a texture coordinate. All right, so yeah, uh, you got to add this in, and then I'm just going to turn on the bump node. I'm going to turn the strength down to, like, right here, which looks, actually, it's still a little bit too much. Right there, that looks good. So now I have all this right here. And now I'm gonna select 
the inner wheel right here and I'm gonna hit new and I'm gonna call this wheel material. Okay, and I am going to bring this down to like a gray, right? And then I'm going to take the metallic and turn it all the way up to one. And then the roughness is going to come down just a little bit. And now we have the nice wheel spokes. Or not spokes, but whatever. And uh, now is the point uh, that I can go right here. And I'm going to select every other thing right here. So I, I'm just doing this because I keep saying spokes, and I know they're not spokes to us. So we got to make some spokes. I'm going to hit E to extrude them inward. All right. There, now you have some spokes, which looks quite nice. And now we can take this material right here. I'm going to actually rename this to metal material. And I'm going to drag and drop this onto both of these right here. And I'm actually thinking this is too dark, so I'm going to bring this up. There we go. That's more of a metal material. And I'm going to actually tab an edit mode on this one, and I'm going to bring this down a bit. And uh, you can always edit this if you need to. Um, now we can duplicate this. So I'm going to select both of these, and I'm going to hit Control J. Control J. And... I am going to go, oh, whoopsie, I'm going to select the outer tire first and then the inner tire and then I'm going to go control J. And now everything looks quite nice. So it's one, one object now and we can rename this to wheel. And what we can do now is just duplicate these. So I will go shift D, shift D, and go to the Y axis. And I'm just gonna move it to right here. And now we have these wheels right here. This is gonna be kind of like an A350. Um, wheel, which should look pretty nice. I always did like the A350, um, but I'm going to add in a mirror modifier, and we have lost our spoke, so no, not really. Um, I'm going to, uh, under this eyedropper here, I'm going to select this bogey right here and then I'm gonna do the same for the other and now we have some nice landing gear yay and you can see that if we do this nothing happens why is that it's because that we have to parent this to right here so I'm gonna do that control P keep transform and then I'll go R, and now we can rotate this to our heart's content, and it will look awesome. But, so there's still some stuff that's missing. And what we need to do is I'm going to hit Shift A, and I'm going to select a plane, a plane, okay? And under the material, I'm going to select the metal material for this one and I'm gonna hit S and then X I'm gonna scale it down to about right here and then I'm gonna hit S 
and Y, and scale it down, and I'm going to hit G, and I'm going to rotate this, and about right here. And then I'm going to tab into edit mode, select this one edge right here, and I'm going to hit E and extrude this into here. And now we have this right here, which means that we can now add a solidify modifier. Solidify. I'll solidify this up nicely. I'll just hit Control A and apply the scale. Control A and apply the rotation as well. And actually, I'm not going to do the solidify modifier right here. I'm just going to tab into edit mode and hit A, and then I'm going to hit E, and then Y. And that'll, or I'm just going to hit E in general, and that'll give me the nice effect that I want. And that'll give us some nice thing right here. And I'm just going to move this around. And uh, this is basically kind of just like the uh, suspension thing. So now I can select the strut. And I'm going to make this look a little bit more like a piston. So I'm going to hit GZ. I'm going to move this down to here. Then I'm going to hit E. And then I'm going to right click to cancel the movement. And then I'm going to hit S. And I'm going to scale it up. Then I'm going to hit E. And now we have a nice strut. Actually, this is a little bit too thick. So I'm going to scale this up. Rescale this. And now we've got a little bit less of that. So I'm going to hit E. Then I'm going to hit E again. Then I'm going to scale this down slightly. Then I'm going to hit E. And now we have a nice piston right here. And that is a good landing gear right here. And now what we want to do is I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to add in a cube right here. And I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to hit S, R, G. And now that's right here. I can just select this face right here and I'm going to hit E and then I'm going to hit E again and then I can just rotate this whole thing. And now we have this right here and now I can kind of just have a plane and plop my airplane on this strut right here. So as far as the nose gear goes, it's basically the same thing, except that then we're going to have only one. It's a single bogey. So uh, this is a double bogey. It has two sets of wheels. The nose gear is a single bogey. It has one set of wheels. And now what we can do is I'm going to kind of just set up these wheels to be kind of um, squished down because of the, they kind of squish down because they're sitting on the ground. Of course, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it because I think it looks cool. So I'm going to hit GZ with proportional editing turned on. And yeah, I'm just going to flatten this a bit. So now we have this all nice and flattened. And I'm actually going to delete this right here. And I'm just going to shift D and put this right here because it looks nice. And now we have some nice landing gear. So I can add in like a plane, G, Z, and move it down. And actually, this looks pretty darn good. So I'm happy with this. Looks all nice and flat. And I can scale this up. And that is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button to be notified when I release another video. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.